It's been a while since I posted a vlog, so bear with me, please. Y'all, this man is the best person I know. We met each other in high school and we fell in love in 2020, and as soon as I could, I married the crap out of him. And thus begins our story. When we first got married, I moved into his Raleigh apartment and worked out of this little corner of the living room, but my mess eventually got out of hand and we were ready to have some distance from our neighbors, so we started looking for a house to rent. It feels like the dag last that is so You just never stop singing. Oh, baby, I don't know what you <laughs> Ignore my abuse of his trust. All he does is zinc, and it's adorable. Uh, but anyway, we talked about buying a home to flip, but eventually just decided that, Lord willing, we would just rent for now and later on find a nice older home to fix up and make our own. <laughs> Sounds like a dog. You're like dying. Switch. It was a good experience because I think we learned a little bit about what it's like to actually own a home and run like a full house without actually having to own it. Kirk is convinced that he can and will sit in this front seat with the easel. All right, you all good? But a me. Why are you doing this to yourself? How would you not get hurt? That thing is like right in your face. That's the whole thing. Like what you get hurt from a lot is like the whiplash, which is why like headrests or something. Okay. But I think it would probably I think your neck could break from that piece of wood there. Um even if the wood itself didn't crush you, it'd probably crack and splinter and and, and stab you. That's possible, but I don't think it would. I don't think it would crack and stab. I'm a real cooper. <laughs> this is not safe. Nothing about moving is safe. It's my first day actually in the house, like to do projects, to clean, and to get things ready. Does it not kind of seem like we always see these home makeover videos, all the fun bits, but what no one really talks about is how you definitely need to clean the toilet that's been sitting there with still water in it for months when you first move in. So, you know, those things are a little gross to me. So I was able to move everything into the studio, but it took me a really long time to just get myself working in there because I was really just focused everywhere else. Um, I was having a bit of a bittersweet time letting go of our first apartment, and we also kept traveling, especially going back to Charlotte for a myriad of reasons, including what felt like the year everybody and their mother decided to get married. I have found that the simple task of getting something out of a box does help. It seems obvious, but when it's out in plain sight, you're more motivated to put it away because it doesn't feel put away already. Of course, the sunroom went through a lot of different iterations as I got in new furniture and made over old furniture and got rid of old furniture and all that kind of stuff. So you're gonna see a couple of different versions here as I work through it. But I really loved having my studio in a sunroom. There was so much natural light and it never got too hot. I was kind of like anticipating that, but it didn't. So it was really fun to be able to express myself in a room that was totally my own. A lot of my favorite videos to date were made in this room, and so it will always hold a very special place in my heart. Here's how it ended up. clean I'm going to make another mess because that's what I do it's who I am and that's not changing today thank you guys for joining me and hopefully getting some warped sense of productivity by watching me get a warped sense of productivity
let's just let that be what it is. I hope you guys really have a beautiful day and that the sun is shining where you are or you really love the rain because you guys, I really love the rain. It's all rainy and cozy as you can tell by my oversized hand-me-down sweater and my basic Target cup. Cheers. <laughs> oh, did you think I was done? No, no. We bought a house. Alright, see that? Wow. 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 Have a You tell me, mister. $25. If you like me. Changes this way so much. I am my office now. I need I decided to take my four-year-old niece's sage advice and get my office set up so that I could be in it. And then eat in it. And of course you know that my constantly singing husband was going to help me because he's the best. So much more room for activities! So much more room to think and sing bugs. At this point in the process, I realized that I was going to need a place for all those little odds and ends of projects that I never found a place for in my old studio, and I have been on a big yellow kick. Also, we had an old intercom system that I had to cover up, and finally I spray painted this piece, but ended up just turning it back around and selling it. If you guys are still around, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you will give it a big thumbs up. If you feel like it, no worries if not. Also, at the end of this video, there is a quick little testimony of how we found our house and just the Lord's provision there. So if you're interested, just hang around. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Also, look, I added plants. Welcome to my new studio. It It is a sunroom. That means it's got the best light in the house. And I am just a, a greedy little girl like that. I, I stole it. And also Maverick let me have it. What do I want to say? God is good, you guys. I think prayer is a real thing. Five second testimony. As soon as we started looking for a house, we knew that, okay, it's not going to be five seconds. As soon as we started looking for a house, we knew that it was going to be kind of cray cray. We really didn't want to keep renting. Um, and we knew that we were ready to like move closer to our families and put down some real roots. But the housing market, as you guys know, has been kind of absolutely redonkulous since COVID started. We just started praying. Our number one request as far as the process went was just that we would have clarity and that we would see the property for what it is and that we would have that piece about, you know, moving forward and that we would have unity in it. And there was only one house that we had both clarity and unity on and that was this house. We didn't plan on telling our family either that we were putting in an offer because we knew that there was a high likelihood that we were going to be putting in multiple offers on multiple places and then getting shot down, all that kind of stuff. So we didn't want to rope people into every single offer. As it turned out, we ended up telling people, telling our family just that we really liked this property and then we thought we were going to put in an offer and then we did and we were just keeping them all updated and everybody was praying and we were praying. Long story short, the very first house that we saw that we were unified on that we wanted, the first house that we put in an offer on, we got within our budget. The seller ended up making a bunch of repairs that we wouldn't have been able to afford. Just every step of the way, seeing the Lord's provision has been really, really cool. And now, we get to settle in and kind of fix up and I'm going to be documenting as much as I can remember to uh, as we go and as we fix up different rooms. Won't you join me?